on my ass, man. Like, I, it seems like I can't do nothing right. But in your spirit, you're still like, you know what? I'm still going to go through it, man. I'm For still who, the Lord, who the Lord loveth, he chastens and rebuketh often. That's right. You got you to continue in, in, your, uh, in your corrections. Continue in your rebukes. Because that's the Lord. Hey, you know, and you know, me personally, I, I have I have sons. One of my sons, I have to get on more than my other son. You know, that's just that's just how it is. It's not because I, you know, you, you know, of course you're gonna have favorites, but because it's necessary for me to get on one of my sons more than the next son. Right. All right. That's hey, that's how it works, man. But that's love. That's love. You know. You know. So the Lord, you know, that's another part of your sufferings. Yeah. Your long suffering is is is, is rebuke, man. You may feel like, you know, that, that, that demon will jump on you, man. This brother will bite me, man. He always got something to say about me. He always on my ass. He always doing this. Suffer through it, man. Fight through it. Because this is what, hey, when you get taken to an interrogation room and he saw start blaming you as and telling you that you a terrorist, all right, performing terroristic acts, and they have you in an interrogation room for two weeks, and if you don't have that long suffering, yeah. you gon' you gon' you gon' uh give up the faith, man. It ain't gonna be like, oh, they gonna question you for twenty minutes or a half hour, and that all right, that's it, you go. No, they they question you and question you and question you. They deprive you of sleep. I mean, they gonna get on your ass until you can't take no more. They gonna try to crack you. Yeah, and that's what that's what these devils do. Sleep deprivation. Oh man, man, come on, man. But, 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 can we read this real quick? Of course. I'm sorry, brother. Just want to read this real quick and then. Ah. Yeah. Strong's G3115. Arkrasomia. Arkrasomia. And this is long suffering. It says patience, endurance, constancy, steadfastness, perseverance. Perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. Long suffering. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm gonna tell you, brother, something, man. There's some brothers out there that 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 have lost their women, or there's brothers out there that have lost their jobs. There's brothers out there that have lost their cars, uh, certain possessions. Their you know, family. Lost their, their, their family. family. Some some brothers out there uh, have caught their women cheating on them. Yep. You know, some brothers out there uh, had their children molested. But they still doing what they got to do. Had the daughters molested, the sons molested, you know? All kind of shit. So that's enough to make you fucking go insane in your mind. You know? But yeah. what do you got to do? You got to keep going. You got to just keep going forward. You know? Whatever whatever happens, you got to keep going forward, man. You know? And, 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 and these are things that make you question. It's like, damn, man, why would the Lord allow this to happen? You know, if I'm supposed to be a man of the Lord. But sometimes the Lord is a hard teacher. That's the way he does things, you know? And it's like, like, like you, sometimes you feel like you're going out your fucking mind. And that's the truth, you know? But that's all part of the suffering, the long suffering. Because the type of uh, men we have to be in these times is we have to be like some battle-hardened soldiers, you know, and a battle-hardened soldier is not a soldier that goes out to war one time and that's he's battle-hardened now. <laughs> because you had, you had, when you go back in the history, you had wars and you had different situations where warriors would go to wars and they would fight certain battles. But then you had the, 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 the softer uh, uh, battles, but then you had the hottest part of the battle. That's right. And only the top warriors would go to the hottest part of the battle. Kim David sent Uriah to the hottest part of the battle. The front you know, line. the front lines, man. You know, so this thing is is about building us up to become a hardened battle soldiers, man. You know, and it's not easy. It's not kind. It's not. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, and 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 we still have a we still have a hill. Can push our hand yeah, look on this we still got a hill. Uh, and <laughs> hey, we still got a uh, we got a hill. You know, brothers, we still got a hill to climb. Hey, you know. It's, it's a lot of things that we're going to have to endure in our future in order to receive that incorruptible crown. Hey, Pashai, you had a scripture, bro? Hey, Kai, Kai, Kai. All right, Kai, I got one after you, I. Right? All right, Kai. And I, and I got one after you. <laughs> right, Kai, Kai, Kai. Hey, 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 Kai,
when they come to spiritual war, man, the, the, they they fail, and that's where the tr the true warrior uh, uh, fights. The true warrior fights in his mind. Yeah. Uh, which, that's where the spirit lies. That's where Satan tempts you. And uh, a great example of that, because you have the physical wars, you also have the wars with uh, with Paul. Paul went into different cities, and he was went through all kind of and, and every angle. Turn more about that, yeah. Everything. That's why he said this. It's the Second Timothy chapter three, verse ten. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. All right, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. Right, because Paul mentioned that everything that he went to went went through was for the body, for the betterment of the body, and to increase the faith of the body. All right. And then it says verse eleven: persecutions. Afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all, Yahweh by Shin Yahushai delivered me. And that's the point right there. That Paul had enough faith to go from one city to the next city to the next city, even though he suffered every time. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, one of them that he mentioned, that's where he got stoned and taken out of the city. Yeah. And this, <coughs> one of the, Iconium and Lystra, if I'm mistaken, that was the one. Got beaten, stoned to death, then actually got back up and went back into the city. The same city. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, that's some, that's some hellified uh, uh, faith right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's what, the, like the brothers going into, that's what the Lord is uh, uh, gearing our mind for, man. Yeah. It's building our influence for our mind for, man. Because I say this too, an apostle of all, we talk about talks about this about being being hard in the truth man you know how you be when you know a lot of times jake saying the world oh i'm hard son i'm hard body and then like the smallest thing a rough for their feathers yeah. man that's why you want to kill somebody shoot somebody because a nigga stepped on his sneakers or something like that yeah, yeah they just but, hard in words yeah that, that's it that's it that's it but hey the our shot was called the rock uh, you know the, uh, uh the rock of offense he, he's the chief cornerstone in order to Cornerstone, you can't be moved, ah. or, or foundation is gone. Mm. So, how shy is molding us to become rocks such as him? So, we, when we're planted and rooted into this world, we're unmovable. Ah. Hey, I got some real quick. Okay, this is our second Timothy chapter 2 and our verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your house. Shy, yeah, that's right. No, hey, endure, endure hardness, meaning. Hey, you got to be made hard, cause you know you got a you got a lot of tough guys. You know bodybuilders. Yeah. You know got you know one percent body fat. Niggas gonna take the chill. Cream puffs. Yeah, cause they spirit they spirit soft as air. Yeah, you know. But the men of the Lord, their spirits are being. When the Lord say endure hardness as a good soldier, it's not talking about being able to endure a hundred push ups with with a twenty five pound uh, weight on your back. Right. That's not what it's talking about. <laughs> you know. It's talking about being able to endure spiritual hardness, man. Being able to go through spiritual, uh, 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 you know, spiritual, um, um, you know, uh, obstacles. Okay, you know, I got a, I got a scripture real quick. I got one right after. God, and this and this right here is gonna go into Paul, and you will see that Paul through his walk, man. Paul was hard, man. His spirit was hard. Yeah. You couldn't crack Paul, man. It was nothing that you could do to crack Paul. Like the brother J.M.S. Saskatchewan says, mental toughness is key. Paul right. was mentally tough, man. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny? When they looked at him, they said he didn't look the part in his body. He probably was, a, you know, he probably was short of stature. You know, he probably was skinny. You know, they don't really go into explanation, but they said in, in uh, his, his letters are weighty and, and powerful. Yeah. But in presence, he's contemptible, you know? Yeah. They looked, at, they looked down on him because he didn't look the part. But his spirit... Was was the spirit of a mighty man, you know? His spirit was was able to conquer anything, you know. But 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 the bodily presence don't mean nothing, you know. And that's why the, uh, the Lord told Samuel, because Samuel when he saw King David's first brother, he's like, man, this gotta be the anointing of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, he was all big and you know, all probably all buff and shit, you know, probably yeah. like higher stature. Probably had you know. Good facial features, big yeah. beard, you no, know, you no know, sharp eyes, yeah. everything. But the Most High said, "No," he said, "That's not him." He said, "For the Most High looketh not as men look, because men look on the outward, yeah. but the Lord looketh in the heart." 
Yeah, you know, David, David was was uh, the youngest son. He was a stripper. He was the youngest, and then at the time, where well, was a. Uh,